Buonasera a tutti, uh, sono veramente molto onorato di essere presente in questa magnifica, uh, questo, questo repertorio dei, dei monaci del XV-XVI secolo sotto gli affreschi di Valducci. Grazie signora Acidini di ricevere il, uh, tutta questa, uh, questi colleghi, amici che sono in questa sala ma devo parlare in inglese perché ci sono colleghi che vengono di altri paesi che l'Italia. Uh, so everything was, was said today and I, I'm only, uh, I want only to say that uh, how is the road which brought us today to this symposium about uh, the symposium wi which is uh, based on the last convention of UNESCO, the convention of 2005, concerning the promotion of the diversity of cultural expressions. It is a long way that the president of the foundation, Paolo Del Bianco, who is not with us because of some problem of health, and I really want him uh, very quick return to the, uh, to the work, but we have with us the president, he is president emeritus, he, we have the president, Carlotta Damianco, who has the same strength and the same wish to bring us about an idea which in the beginning was like an utopia, life beyond tourism. What does, what does it mean? So we were working at ICROM, at UNESCO, with uh, Paolo Del Bianco to understand what was the meaning of life beyond tourism. It was in fact a process that already at the World Bank in the 70s, the World Bank published a book about tourism passport for development. And the idea of tourism of course was bringing and developing along and we were at UNESCO, and uh, Francesco reminded it, we were looking at this very important movement of visitors that Paolo Del Bianco wanted to have not only to come here uh, in Florence, this magnificent World Heritage Site, or to go to the sea or to the mountain, but not only to come to eat, to go to visit, take pictures, and to uh, go away without having a better knowledge of what they see. What are the meaning of the place where they, they, that they are visiting? How the people are living? What are the contacts that can be made between people? So this was an idea which was very close to what many scholars discussed at the, at the uh, organization, the UN WTO, the, the UN World Tourism Organization, but also a UNESCO, with a definition which was clo close to life beyond tourism, which was cultural tourism. Not a tourism only for economic uh, 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 development, but a tourism with, which brings also the human values, the human values and the knowledge between the people. And that's why he developed a second idea, which was travel for dialogue. Why? Because, as it was said already, uh, we are living in a world where there are so many conflicts, so many uh, uh, dif uh, difficulties, uh, uh, loss of uh, hope between uh, communities that Travel could be a way, could be a way of bringing people to, together and to speak. But in order to speak, you have to understand and you have to learn. If you come to this refectory and you don't have this refectory as a luogo paranto, a place where we can understand and have La Cena explain to us when this uh, picture was, was done, what is the meaning of this affresco? This is the way people can understand each other. But when people do not know 
Who is the other? It became an enemy. And this is why travel for dialogue was another utopia which is now under realization. And finally, last year, Paolo Del Bianco and his uh, team, very small but very hardworking, developed the, the idea of luoghi parlanti. And they asked me, do you think this is something that we can promote? And I said, this is also linked to another very important convention of UNESCO, which is the convention of 2003 concerning the promotion of the intangible cultural heritage. In UNESCO, we were criticized uh, uh, because we were dealing uh, only on tangible heritage. And the convention of 1972, as it was said before, was the convention, you know, attracting everybody. But we had other parts of the uh, member states, but also on the communities, saying, but, you know, there is another kind of heritage that is linked with the tangible. It is the intangible one. And I worked in Italy, for example, I went to Sardinia, and I saw how the... Uh, uh, I, I participated to a, a ceremony which is called Il Canto a Tenore dei Pastori Sardi. È una cosa straordinaria, perché tutta questa tradizione del, della vita nella campagna è, fa parte del patrimonio, fa parte dei luoghi parlanti. Dunque, io sono molto, molto interessato di vedere questa seconda sessione, come l'ha detto la Presidente, non solo in Italia, ma dappertutto il mondo, e sono contento di vedere colleghi, amici del Camerun, del, del Bahrain, eh, e, eh, nelle eh, workshop che abbiamo avuto, eh, del Giappone, eccetera. Dobbiamo portare avanti quest'idea dei, dei luoghi parlanti per far conoscere particolarmente ai giovani, ai, a, alle scuole elementari, alle scuole, eh, eh, alle, alle licei e anche a livello delle università l'importanza della conoscenza. E la conoscenza dell'altro è il fattore che può essere un fattore di dialogo, di, toleran di tolleranza e di pace. Grazie. Presidente, grazie per uh, questo suo entusiasmante intervento che ci dà uh, forza e specialmente nella mia posizione nuova, da poco, da poco più di un anno, appena un anno, in un momento così complesso come quello che sta vivendo il mondo a livello internazionale, essere affiancata eh, dall'esperienza del nostro presidente onorario Munir Bushnaki, assieme al presidente merito, eh, ideatore e fondatore della fondazione Paolo Del Bianco, è una grande forza per me come presidente in carica e per tutto il Consiglio ed è una garanzia per la rete internazionale della fondazione. Um, I was uh, remarking how important are the words that our honorary president has said and uh, how important are for the foundation because uh, in this moment of uh, international difficulties, uh, conflicts, uh, um, I said I, I was in, entitled, I was uh, nominated president uh, in charge of the foundation, and uh, it was not easy to, to start, and it was not easy to take this challenge and to have uh, such a positive uh, vision, but we do have a very positive vision. We want to see the future, we want to see a brilliant future for our future generations 
for our sons and grandsons and being assisted but by such an expert and friend as uh, president bushnaki and by our emeritus president paolo del bianco is uh, some is something that uh, not everybody has so i'm very lucky for this and uh, i would like uh, and, and I know that uh, the emeritus president uh, would really be, uh, would really like to be here now today because uh, we want to make uh, a small celebration, uh, small but uh, very important for the foundation, um, very important for the network of the foundation, very important for my family that I represent in both uh, um, charges as president and uh, daughter and uh, mother. I am in the middle of two generations. So I would like to call uh, the rest of the board of the foundation. So the vice president, Caterina Del Bianco, Corina Del Bianco, who was very helpful in moderating uh, this uh, opening session uh, uh, just a few minutes before we started, so she was not so uh, informed before. And uh, virtually, we have uh, aside us uh, also a very important person who is uh, part of the heart of the foundation and uh, who is uh, our Secretary General, Simone Giometti, who is uh, online, unfortunately ill himself, but side by side, minute by minute, built this program and this uh, uh, ceremony with us. And also the future generation, uh, my son Cosimo, we would like to give uh, our uh, uh, gift to our honorary president and friend, Munir Bushnaki, who I would like to call uh, next to me. And uh, give this, uh, Caterina, vieni, venite qua, mettete qui. Okay, we make some setting. And uh, this is uh, a, a gift, and this is the motivation of our gift. I read it in Italian as it was written. Amunir Bushnaki, consigliere speciale del direttore generale UNESCO, che dal 2006 ha sostenuto la fondazione nel promuovere gli ideali di dialogo e di pace e il suo intento di esaltare i siti patrimonio mondiale quali luoghi di esercizio al dialogo per la formazione alla conoscenza e al rispetto della diversità tra culture e per la salvaguardia del pianeta Terra che tutti condividiamo oggi 15 novembre 2022, quasi 16 novembre, in occasione del cinquantesimo anniversario della Convenzione UNESCO del Patrimonio Mondiale, del quarantesimo anniversario dell'iscrizione nella lista dell'UNESCO del Centro Storico di Firenze, dell'apertura del secondo Festival Internazionale dei Luoghi Parlanti, The World in Florence, All'inizio di un nuovo anno a fianco a noi, qui nel complesso monumentale di Santa Croce, la Fondazione Romualdo del Bianco, in ricordo di questo momento, dona al proprio presidente onorario Munir Bushnaki un'opera d'arte orafa che rappresenta un particolare del patrimonio mondiale di Firenze, della facciata di Palazzo Rucellai di Leon Battista Alberti, opera ideata e cesellata dal maestro orafo Paolo Penco, la Fondazione Romualdo del Bianco, Life Beyond Tourism. Sì, 
Cosimo, vieni. Anche io. Ah sì, sono Cosimo. Sono dei musiciani più giovani. Grazie. Siamo emozionati. Grazie. Molto. Voglio dire due parole. Due parole soltanto per dire quanto sono onorato di questo regalo eh, che viene un giorno prima del mio compleanno e dunque eh, voglio dire quanto eh, per me ha un valore simbolico e spero che continuerò a lavorare con la fondazione, con tutte le istituzioni che sono incaricate dal patrimonio culturale eh, ho lavorato tutta la mia vita nel campo del patrimonio e della cultura. E dunque ringrazio molto la Fondazione del Bianco, vi auguro a Paolo un buona salute, a Simone Giometti la, la stessa cosa, perché normalmente do, devono es essere con noi. E di nuovo un grande ringraziamento alla Presidente dell'opera del, del Santa Croce eh, questo è un, un monumento che non si può dimenticare grazie mille